when I photograph brown boys dressed norteño, that makes us feel tough, but not necessarily tough as like masculinity, but tough as, you know, we are here, we are brown, we are queer, we are Mexicanos, and we're gonna like rock the day. Soy Fabian Guerrero. I'm a photographer based in Los Angeles, born in Texas, and raised in Tamaulipas, Mexico. As a little kid in Mexico, when you grow up traditional in the community, you have to provide, you have to be tough, you have to be strong. There's no way for you to speak on your emotions or to be soft. So as a young queer boy, I was always dreaming of what my life could be or how I wanted to feel, and I had to play that role in my head. Kind of goes back all to the now and why this is so important. We can take all of these things, things that we grew up in through lifestyle, through culture, through like environment, and glamorize it. I hope I can create, you know, a world of just imagery and like way of feeling like I belong. Being at family's weddings or fiestas, there was also that part of the day where everybody super hell would start dancing. Hombre y mujer, juntos pegaditos, synchronizing the rhythm and love that we have with each other. And I remember I was fantasizing about a world where I could feel that with another guy. That sense of unity and connection. I would feel out of place knowing I couldn't move or express myself. Your boy, you must act or move a certain way. When these men would call us, you know, mariposas, it was their way of making fun of us. I hated these men because they tore me apart. I was sexually molested by these men. If I want to keep moving forward, I need to make peace. I think it's important for me to create these images because it also allows, you know, like a platform and space for other boys and maybe like me that grew up this way that maybe don't have a sense of like how to express myself. I hope these images give a sense of hope, give a sense of empowerment. When I think of mariposas, I think about a butterfly, you know, kind of starts as a caterpillar then turns into like a cocoon, you know. I see it as us taking all this, like, you know, bullshit, this toxin, this masculinity that like brought us down so much and like learn from that and evolve.